Next question is from Jerry Gear. What would be five staple foods to incorporate into your diet to cover the most nutritional needs? Steak, fish. Got to be two. <laughs> what kind Ooh, of, that wow. sounds like an animal by itself. Steak, hey, fish. Yeah. <laughs> steak There's a steak and, fish in the ocean. Steak, steak and fish have got to be in there, right? I yeah. mean, can we agree on that? That's you know what? Make the top five. If, if you, if you want to look at a singular food that provides you with almost everything you need, it's going to be an yeah, It's going to be meat. Yeah. It's, it's probably going to be red meat of some sort. Right. Beef, bison. Um, it's got almost pretty much everything your body needs from a nutritional standpoint. It's the reason why people can make a diet up like the carnivore diet and yeah. it'd be okay. Yeah. You know? and be, be, it's not yeah. ideal, but I don't think you can eat any other singular food by itself and not die. No. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. I would say eggs. Mm. Um, eggs oh, are definitely okay. up there. There you go. Extremely nutritious, very nutrient dense organ meats. Their organ meats are so nutrient dense, you can actually eat too much. Can we, of them. Th- can we throw that in meat though? I feel like that's part of it. You, like wrapped in meat, right? Because yeah, you, you have meat, meat fish, eggs. Well, then you're going to take up four. We only get five. Uh, all right. So, you know what I'm saying so. Like, let's just say meat and liver all go together, right? All right. So organ, all animal products, right, is up there for nutritional. Okay. Meats. Okay, so that's a good uh, one. Because egg is money too, I yeah, think. And yeah. then uh, <sighs> uh, for fruit, I would say berries. Berries are oh, some yeah. of the mm. some of the most valuable fruit, high in fiber. I can't live without cheese. So <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> Dude, five is not going to be cheese is not going to be in the top five. Justin, hey man, if you're not intolerant, it's a good source of food. You know what? He's act- <laughs> you know what? He, he's actually right. Dairy on its own, if you can tolerate it well, is extremely nutrient dense. I know there are certain parts of the world where they survive almost solely. Yeah. On the milk from animals. You know the Mongols? Mongols. Thank yes, you. Let's, yes. let's talk about this. Yes. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they conquered because of their cheese. They actually did. They yeah. they they survived mostly on milk from, I think it was horse milk, right? Yeah, horse like milk. yak milk or something. Or yak milk yeah. and, uh, and, and blood. Yeah. Um, I know the Maasai tribe of Africa does the same thing. So dairy is extremely nutrient. The problem is a lot of people can't digest it well. Like yeah, that's the problem. I wouldn't do well with it. So what are we going to do? Okay, so, so what, we got organ so, meats, meats in general, and then we got- uh, I like Berries for berries, fish, for fruit, berries, eggs. Yep. So we have one more. Dude. Fish, fish eggs, eggs are also extremely nutrient dense. That's that really falls that falls under fish and eggs. All right, so that's cheating. <sighs> yeah. All right, let's. So think what's of- your top vegetable then? If we got to throw one of those. Oh, in that's there. a good question. Yeah, but the truth is that the the nutrient value of that is so low. Vegetables don't have tons of no, nutrient value. No, I'm trying to pull that in. For, yeah. You know, no, no. Like, yeah, I agree with they've you. They've got they've got value, but they don't have a lot of nutrient necessarily value. Sure. They're not particularly high. Okay, potato. Potatoes, believe it or not, are pretty nutrient dense, high in carbohydrates. Got the energy there. They've got certain nutrients in there that I are, mean, are not bad. I'm down with that. And I mean, you know, you can you can do okay eating a lot of potatoes with not a lot of other stuff. I know, uh, you know, Irish have a Why history. Would you point of- at me? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 want know, a, you want a potato diet? I don't yeah. know about it. Potato chip uh, diet, maybe. Because I, I said Irish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, he's <laughs> the spaghetti was. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, just took a racist turn yeah. real quick. <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> but potatoes. Th- those are kind kind of up there. Yeah, um, no, they're good. Yeah. For for other vegetables, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know what else would be? I good? mean, when you guys are, what's like a a, a staple plate, right? I, we, I mean, obviously, if you've listened to Mind Pump longer than freaking two months, you know that we we uh, you know advocate for rotating your foods, all foods, right? Mm-hmm. So never never once would you catch any of us eating the same plate. But what is like a staple plate uh, of food that like you would consume? Go you go first, Justin. I mean, steak Jeez, and, some... and like Brussels sprouts or, or asparagus or like something like uh, to complement it that way. Uh, and then potatoes, obviously, that's something for me that I I get value from that when I work out in my performance. Yeah, um, uh, carrots. Carrots are very nutrient dense, very high in the fat soluble, you know, vitamin A. You don't like carrots? I'm not a carrot guy. Really? Not a fan. Yeah. I mean, I'll eat them, but I'm not a big fan. Yeah, carrots are up there. Uh, kale, Brussels sprouts. But uh, honestly, this is true. Now, I'm not anti plant foods at all. I think they have value when combined with other foods. But if you look at them from a purely nutritional standpoint, like I just, I'm, I need to, I'm going to only eat one food and my body's not going to die or, or whether it's not going to be a plant food. It's going to be an animal source because yeah. it, it really does come with. So mm-hmm. there, as far as nutrient density is concerned, it's mostly animal products. Yeah. yeah. At, at steak, rice, and spinach is like a, such a staple yeah, like rice meal. too. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I eat a, I eat a lot of rice and uh, spinach is like probably one of my favorite vegetables to go to, and steak is by far one of the most nutrient dense foods. Yeah, so. I, I do. I feel my best if I have eggs every day or egg yolks in particular, um, and one or two servings of uh, of red meat, either lamb 
or beef. Those are my two favorite sources. Fish I'll eat, but I, I don't. I mean, the taste is fine. It's just not as appealing to you me. You don't eat it as much. Not as much. What are you guys, are you, so I eat a lot of chicken thighs too. Do you guys eat a lot of chicken thighs? Mm. I, I my like, kids love them. Yeah, yeah. I oh. prefer chicken thighs over chicken breast. That's for sure. Oh, I I remember when like the I had that epiphany on like the the when you started comparing protein, fat, calories, everything between a thigh and a breast. I'm like, what do I? Why have I been eating this dry ass chicken breast for so long? It's like yeah. the thighs are like as as nutrient dense, almost as high as in protein. Protein, taste a million times better. Like, what was I thinking? Like, yeah. I remember that was back. That you know that come from that come from the like low fat freaking uh, era when we first started. I could definitely eat more fish. I've been trying to inc- include that quite a bit more uh, as of late. Fish but, sticks, yeah, <laughs> with ketchup. <laughs> They're yummy. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaded and delicious. Yeah, it's just it's like he's got a flavor, it's just like five fish sticks. <laughs> the star, I mean, the star this one. Is just one block of cheese and like all like fish sticks. I ate fish today. Yeah, I ate fish. Yay, give me a give me a gold medal.